Hello, and welcome to the 2020 Centerville High School Arts Signing Celebration. My name is Jason Heyman, and I'm the Director of Theater Programming at Centerville High School. It is my pleasure on behalf of the arts teachers at CHS to invite you to cheer and applaud from wherever you are for over 30 CHS arts students who have decided to continue their training after high school. Whether you are in our classes for several years or one semester, it is our pleasure to see your love of the arts take you on the next step of your journey. Our world is a better place with the arts and artists like you will continue this tradition. We are so proud of you and wish you the very best. To begin today's celebration, please enjoy these remarks from Dr. Tom Henderson, Superintendent of Centerville City Schools, and Mr. John Carroll, CHS Coordinating Principal. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Henderson. I know this is not the way you thought your senior year would end. No one could ever have expected the challenges that we have all gone through together this spring. All of us have felt the strain of this new normal, and I know it has really tested all of us down to our core. I'm reminded of a quote I read from former First Lady Michelle Obama. The quote goes like this, you may not always have a comfortable life and you will not always be able to solve all of the world's problems at once, but don't ever underestimate the importance you can have because history has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can take on a life of its own. So even though the recent times have been challenging, I hope you continue to be courageous and keep hope alive. The one thing I do know is that participating in the fine arts provides many lifelong benefits such as the promotion of self-esteem, motivation, aesthetic awareness, cultural exposure, and creativity. The arts also provide learners with an understanding of social harmony and an appreciation of diversity. I would also guess you have learned the importance of feedback, both positive and constructive. You understand the value of collaboration, creativity, and communication. You have all succeeded in the face of true adversity this year and as you move on from Centerville High School and continue to be involved in arts after graduation, I wish you nothing but the best of luck in the future. Congratulations. I'm proud of all of you. Thank you. I'd like to offer my congratulations to the seniors at their fine arts signing. Uh, we're so very proud of you. We'd like to thank you for sharing your talents with us over your four years here. Um, and while we certainly would like to be doing this honor in person, uh, doesn't change how grateful we are for everything that you've done here at the high school. So wishing you all the very best in everything you do from this point on. And uh, you're just a talented, wonderful group of people and we'll miss you. Good luck. Hi, my name is Brandon Barametti and I'm the band director here at Centerville High School. We are going to begin by honoring our band students who will be pursuing the study of music or continuing to play their instrument after high school. Please join me in honoring Andrew Berger, who will be attending the University of Dayton to study music composition and computer science. Amy plans to compose and produce music or work with developing music software. Andy has received the Music Talent Award from the University of Dayton. Next, Andy would like to share his favorite thing about being part of the band program. Congratulations, Andy. Hi. I'm Andrew Berger, and I'm in the class of 2020. Next year, I plan to study music composition and computer science at the University of Dayton. My favorite part of being involved in music at the Centerville High School was marching band. Throughout my four years of being in the Centerville Jazz Band, I've learned how to manage my time and how to work hard to reach my goals. I'd like to thank all the teachers and staff at Centerville for helping me along the way. Next up, please join me in honoring Keller Holloway, who will be attending Moorhead State University in Kentucky to major in nursing and minor in German. Keller plans on getting his BSN for nursing and hopefully being a pediatric nurse somewhere in a bigger city. He is also contracted to be a member of the 2021 Colts Drum and Bugle Corps. Congratulations, Keller. We're so excited to see you go on to many great things. Next, please join me in honoring Hannah Holtz, who will be attending the University of Houston, go Cougs, and plans on majoring in music education. Her future plans include one day becoming a high school band director. 
Hannah has been awarded the UH Academic Excellence Scholarship and the Moore School of Music Merit Scholarship. Next, Hannah would like to talk about one of her favorite things about Centerville. Congratulations, Hannah, and thank you for all of your service to the band program. One of my favorite things about Centerville is how inclusive it is and how inclusive the people are, as well as all the, all the different things that are going on that you can be a part of, like sports and clubs and stuff like that. I really enjoyed that. And as far as the lessons I've learned while I've been at CHS, it would definitely be um, time management. I've gotten better at organization and problem solving. So, yeah. Thanks. Next, please join me in honoring Joseph Kraft, who will be attending Ohio University to major in music production and recording. Joe's dream is to tour around the world with a band or perhaps own a recording studio and start a new label. Joe has received the Ohio Distinction Scholarship and the Ohio Success Scholarship. Next, Joe would like to share a lesson that he learned while in the band program, and we are so proud of his growth as both a person and as a musician. Congratulations, Joe. Hello, everyone. So a lesson that I learned in CHS that I'm going to carry with me into college is to step out of my comfort zone. And I did this when I did marching band and winter drumline, which were two activities that I found to be challenging at first, but I kept on doing them anyway. And because of that, I learned a lot about myself and my abilities, and I learned that I can do anything I put my mind to. And that's definitely something I wanna continue doing when I go into college. Next up, please join me in honoring Dorian Mays. She will be attending the University of Dayton and majoring in music education. She plans to continue to produce and record music throughout college. She's also hoping to join a DCI or WGI group where she can continue to perform as a percussionist. After college, she hopes to become a music teacher and possibly a drumline director. Next, Dorian would like to talk about one of her favorite things about Centerville. Congratulations and thank you, Dorian. Hey everyone, this is Dorian, and what's been my favorite thing about CHS is of course being in the band program. Being in band has actually helped me decide what I wanted to do after high school, which is become a music educator. Um, my goal is to one day be a band director like Mr. Barametti and a drumline director like Tim Fairbanks. Um, aside from that, I also would like to do music producing and just being a part of the band program and having brand new experiences of like different genres of music outside of what I normally listen to has allowed me to grow and be able to work with all types of people and whatnot. So I'm very grateful for the Centerville band program and I can't wait to see what happens in the future. The next senior we would like to recognize is Kieran Nanda. Kieran will be attending the College of Worcester and will be studying euphonium performance. She hopes to one day perform soundtrack music or have a private lesson studio of her own. Kieran has been awarded the Dean's Scholarship and the Music Performance Award. Congratulations, Kieran, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Our last senior that we would like to recognize is Joe Spittler. Joe will be attending the University of Cincinnati and will major in environmental engineering. His goal is to work for a more sustainable future while also performing as a member of a college ensemble or the basketball pep band at UC. Congratulations, Joe, and thank you for your dedication and leadership in the band program. Hi, my name is Scott Gassaway, and I am the assistant band director of the CHS band program. Please join me in honoring and recognizing Zeke Meyer, who will be attending Belmont University, where he will be studying commercial music with an emphasis on performance. Zeke has a vision of becoming a touring musician, playing guitar for larger acts, and touring the world to fund personal passion projects with the intention of making an impact on the world of music. I have personally enjoyed Zeke's musical interests, creative drive, and passion for his craft. Congratulations, Zeke. Hi, I'm Kelly Korpusik. I'm the Associate Choir Director here at Centerville High School. And our first student we are going to recognize in the choir program is Rebecca Braun. She has been in choir all four years of high school. And after high school, she plans to go to the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology and study to become a geologist and do something with rocks and the earth. 
She has received a bronze scholarship, so congratulations, Rebecca. And she also plans on singing in choir at the university after she graduates. Congratulations, we are so proud of you, Rebecca. Next, we have Mary Braun for the choir program. She has been in choir at CHS for three and a half years and is planning on going to the University of Toledo next year in uh, astronomy and astrophysics. Wow. She would love to have a job one day working with an organization like NASA. She also plans on singing with the choir at the University of Toledo when she starts her freshman year. Congratulations, Mary. We are so happy for you. Best wishes. Next, we are recognizing Lauren Burt. She has been a four-year member of the choir program, and she is going into music education at Miami University with a concentration in vocal music. Um, this is near and dear to my heart because um, Miami is my alma mater and Lauren is going to be studying with my old voice teacher. So I'm super excited for you, Lauren. Her dream is to become a high school choir director one day. So we are super proud of you, Lauren. And now let's listen to Lauren share a few things about her favorite things about the arts at Centerville High School. Hi, I'm Lauren. My favorite thing about Centerville High School Arts, um, specifically choir and theater for me, has been the amazing opportunities that I've been offered. Um, I got to sing at Carnegie Hall in New York City in November with Symphonic Choir. I got to perform in ICHSA with Forte, and I got to perform in First Date, the musical, and Hunchback of Notre Dame um, with the theater program, and it's just been an incredible experience getting to work with such amazing students and staff and just the opportunities are unmatched and I cannot thank the staff and the programs enough for the amazing opportunities that, that I was given. Hello, my name is Ben Spaulding and I am one of two choir directors at Centerville High School. Please join me in honoring Lane Calfee. Lane is a four-year member of the choir program and is still deciding between a couple of universities. She is planning on majoring in fashion with a minor in art or voice. In the future, Lane sees herself in the fashion or beauty industry to continue her creativity and love for the arts. Lane has received a community scholarship. Lane, I'm so proud of you and I can't wait to hear about all the amazing things that you do in the future. Congratulations and good luck in all that you do. Next, uh, Lane would like to share with you her favorite things about CHS. Hi, my name is Lane Calfee, and one of the things I've loved about CHS is being a part of all the arts. So I've been able to be a part of art, choir, and theater, and I've loved how welcoming and inclusive they all have been, and I can't wait to continue them on my journey and my future. Next, we would like to honor Zoe Ake. This year, Zoe was a member of the CHS choir program and is planning on attending Wright State University in the fall. She plans to major in media arts and minor in music. In the future, Zoe would like to become a journalist as well as a voice lesson teacher on the side. Zoe, I'm so proud of you and can't wait to hear about the awesome things that you do in the future. Congratulations and good luck in all that you do. Next, we would like to honor Brenna Geyer. Brenna is a four-year member of the choir program and plans on attending the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music in the fall. She is planning on majoring in music and communications. In the future, Brenna's dream is to become a country music recording artist. Brenna has received a community scholarship. Brenna, I'm so proud of you and I can't wait to hear about all the incredible things that you do in the future. Please know that you inspire me each and every day, you truly do. Congratulations and good luck in all that you do. And now let's listen to Brenna share her favorite things about CHS. 
Hi, my name is Brenna Geyer. Um, something that I learned in high school that I will be taking with me um, to college and just throughout my life is something that I learned from choir and theater. It's that it's just so important to have a good community, not only to have just good friends and just to have fun, but it's also important because those kinds of people that are gonna love you and take care of you, they're also gonna be the kind of people that will push you to be your best and will tell you when you need to be improving and what you need to be working on just to make yourself the best that you can be. The kind of people that care about you are the kind of people that wanna see you be your best best and I think that that's something that just being a CHS art student has really shown me and I'm really appreciative of having such a good foundation to take with me in my future and just to know that that's so important to take with me in my life. Next, we would like to honor Loden Paul. Loden is a four-year member of the choir program. In the fall, Loden plans on attending Cleveland State University and major in music therapy. Loden has received a Vocal Excellence Scholarship and Scholars Award. In the future, Loden plans on becoming a music therapist at a psychiatric hospital or have her own independent practice. Loden, I'm so proud of you and I can't wait to hear and see about all the amazing things that you do in the future. Uh, music therapy is, is certainly something that is very much needed in today's world. Congratulations and good luck in all that you do. And now let's listen to Loden share her favorite things about CHS. Hi, my name is Emily Loden Paul. My favorite thing about CHS has been the extensive art program and the amazing teachers. Hello everyone, my name is Mark Mitrovich and I'm the program teacher for the culinary arts program here at Centerville High School. I'm so excited to see Athena move forward with her education in baking and pastry arts. I've seen such a transformation over the last couple of years with regards to Athena. She was once just a very shy and quiet young lady, and she has really matured into a more confident, optimistic person. And that's just been a real great thing to see over the last couple of years. Uh, she and I have really gotten along so well, whether it's been our conversations about all the Marvel movies or listening about all of her uh, happenings with Irish dance. Um, there's always been a great um, synergy between the two of us, and that's that's one of the great things about having uh, students for so long over a period of two years. Uh, she's always willing to learn new things, and she was eager to help out all of her classmates. She was just a great team player. I'm really just excited for her. I know that her dedication and her strong worth work ethic are going to serve her very well as she pursues to hopefully open one day her own bakery. Athena, I wish you all the best. I'm really excited to hear how things move forward for you and I certainly hope that you keep in touch. As a teacher, it's uh, so great for me to see students that are so engaged in my class, but also other activities and, and Mia Thompson really just um, puts a punctuation on that example. Mia is a dynamic young lady that's been uh, really active in the culinary program and of course uh, she's also been very active in color guard and winter guard and when I say active she's been a leader and that's just something that's so cool for me to see as a teacher. Uh, when you see st students take ownership in their own learning, personal growth, that's really just a, a true cool teacher moment. Um, thanks for all of your help, Mia, with being treasurer this year and keeping track of all those pesky receipts. I know that's a lot of work and you should get an award for selling all that popcorn as well. I really wish you all the best at the Culinary Institute this upcoming fall and I really look forward to hearing uh, all of your successes going forward. I am Julianne Bernard and I am one of the orchestra directors here for Centerville City Schools. It is my great privilege to introduce James Ahn, a seven-year member of the Centerville Orchestra program and a fantastic violinist. Currently James performs with Philharmonic Orchestra, the Chamber Program, as well as the Dayton Philharmonic Youth Orchestra. Next year James will attend the University of Cincinnati, majoring in biomedical studies with a minor in music. He has earned the Ohio War Orphans and Severely Disabled Veterans Children's Scholarship. He hopes to work in the medical arts and become a dentist. I'm very proud of James and all that he's contributed to our orchestra program. And now we will have him tell us about his favorite Centerville memories. Congratulations, James. Hey guys, it's James. 
Um, my favorite part about Centerville High School is just the people and the supportive teachers, the amazing friends I had, um, and just the environment around it. Like everybody was so into their education, just focused in it, and it was just an amazing environment I could be in. So I'm thankful for that. And it honestly was the best place where I developed my favorite memories. And it was just, it was just an amazing experience for me. So thank you so much. I learned so many lessons coming from that place and I'll never forget it. Thanks. It is my honor to introduce Amelia Bernard, a 10-year member of the Centerville Orchestra program. She is a wonderful violinist and performs with Philharmonic and Concert Orchestra, as well as the Chamber Program, and is co-president of our chapter of the United Sound Orchestra. She is also a member of the Dayton Philharmonic Youth Orchestra. Next year, Amelia will attend Miami University of Ohio and will major in music education with a minor in music composition. She has earned a Miami Music Talent Award as well as a Miami Red Hawk Excellence Scholarship. She hopes to be an orchestra director one day. I'm very proud of Amelia's contributions to our orchestra program as well as her leadership. And now we will hear from her about how orchestra has shaped her experience at Centerville High School. Congratulations, Amelia. My favorite thing about CHS has been the friends I've made over the past four years in the orchestra program. From getting to go to Disney, to playing with professional musicians during our concerts, and playing in the pit for the school musicals, I've loved being able to make music with my friends and be a part of something that's bigger than myself. Orchestra has really helped me grow as a person and find my true calling in life. I'm so thankful to Mrs. Bernard and the rest of the directors for all of the opportunities that they've given me and making my experience an amazing one. I know that the memories I've made in orchestra will be ones I cherish for the rest of my life. It's a privilege to introduce Joseph McGuffey, an eight-year member of the Centerville Orchestra Program. Joseph plays the bass in Philharmonic, Chamber, as well as Alternative Strings, and is a member of Dayton Philharmonic Youth Orchestra. Next year, Joseph will attend Roosevelt University and will major in bass performance. He has earned an art scholarship through the university. Joseph's ultimate dream is to become a professional orchestral musician. I'm proud of Joseph's leadership and his commitment to our program. And now we will hear from him as to his favorite part of Centerville High School. Congrats, Joseph. My name is Joseph and my favorite thing about CHS is all of the friends I've made and all of the wonderful people that I've met. It is my honor to introduce Peyton Sharp, an eight-year member of the Centerville Orchestra program. Peyton is a cellist with the Philharmonic and Concert Orchestra, as well as our chamber program, Alternative Strings, in which she also plays the banjo, and is co-president of our United Sound chapter. She is also a member of the Dayton Philharmonic Youth Orchestra. Next year, Peyton will attend DePaul University, majoring in music education, and she hopes to one day become an orchestra director. She has earned the Tyler Merritt Scholarship, as well as other talent and academic awards. Peyton's dedication and her commitment and passion to the cello and learning is going to serve her well in the future, and I am very proud of her. Now we will hear from Peyton as to why orchestra has been such a big part of her time here at Centerville High School. Congratulations, Peyton. One of my favorite things about CHS is definitely our orchestra program. Through that, I've been able to make amazing friends and memories. Orchestra has provided me with many opportunities to perform and learn from amazing musicians. Our program offers many different groups to participate in. Since I've played in all of those groups, I've been able to become a well-rounded musician and a better cellist. Next year, I will miss CHS, but most of all, I will miss my orchestra directors and the friends that I've made. I now have the honor of introducing Enzong Wang, a nine-year member of the Centerville Orchestra program. Currently, Enzong is a violist with symphonic orchestra as well as alternative strings. Next year, Enzong will attend University of Michigan, majoring in mechanical engineering while furthering his studies on the viola. He hopes to one day be an engineer. Enzong's drive and passion in orchestra are qualities that will serve him well as he goes on to the University of Michigan. I'm very proud of him. Now let's listen to Enzong talk about how orchestra has influenced his time here at Centerville High School. 
Congratulations, Enzong. Hello, everyone. My name is Enzong Wang, and I play the viola. It truly brings me great grief that I'm not able to spend my last day at Central High School with you guys. My favorite memory is the 50th anniversary of the evening stream because I love playing with all the schools from around Ohio. Aside from that, my favorite memories will always be the friends and teachers I met along my journey through high school. It has truly been my honor and blessing to have the opportunity to play with everyone the last four years. I thank you all for the opportunity. I wish you all good luck in the future and thank you so much. It is my privilege to introduce Taryn Zhang, a six-year member of the Centerville Orchestra program. Currently, Taryn is the concert master for Philharmonic Orchestra as well as our chamber program. He is also one of the concert masters for the Dayton Philharmonic Youth Orchestra. Taryn is a phenomenal violinist and I am proud of everything he has accomplished while he has been here at Centerville. Next year, Taryn will go to Cornell University on a National Merit Scholarship. He will major in political science with a minor in music. It is his goal to become a lawyer, but it is also important to him to continue his music any way he can. Taryn's talents, as well as his leadership, will serve him well as he moves on to Cornell next year. Congratulations to Taryn, and now let's listen to what has been important to him while he's been here at Centerville High School. Hi, my name is Taryn, and I'm a violinist with the Centerville Orchestra Program. I think the two best parts of Centerville, in my opinion, are the people and the community's support for the arts. I've met some really amazing people through this program. Uh, I've met some of my best friends. We've been friends throughout high school. Everyone in the orchestra program is really amazing and talented and passionate about music, which I really appreciate. And the mentoring instruction that I've received from the teachers in the orchestra program has helped me become a better person and a better musician, so I'm really thankful for that. I also came from a district that didn't have an orchestra program, so just having an orchestra program is amazing, but I've always felt that Centerville has gone above and beyond for its performing arts programs, and a lot of the opportunities that I've received through this program have really helped me grow as a musician and want to pursue music further throughout the rest of my life. Hi. My name is Doug Eink. I am an orchestra director for the Centerville City Schools. Please join me in honoring Michael Herzing, who will be attending Belmont University to major in music composition. In the future, Michael sees himself growing deeper in his faith and as a musician. Michael has earned an academic scholarship and the Wilson Music Scholarship. Next, Michael would like to share with you his favorite memory from CHS. Congratulations, Michael. My favorite thing about CHS is the opportunities. Absolutely. The thing about CHS is that there are so many different opportunities you can be a part of. So much so that it can clog up your schedule like nobody's business. I know. If you want to take part in set building, you need to only walk into the back of Central and talk to Mr. C. If you want to play an instrument, you need only to talk to Mr. Baramadi or Mrs. Bernard. There are so many different clubs that are easy to find and enjoy, allowing you to find what you're passionate about. I especially enjoy the musical opportunities given to students, not just the classes, but the small groups as well. I think that kind of musical environment that CHS has built over its many years is absolutely fantastic. Hi, my name is Brianna Landis. I'm one of the orchestra directors for the Centerville City Schools. Please join me in honoring Kendall Kiss, who will be attending the University of Dayton in the fall, majoring in early childhood education and minoring in music. In the future, Kendall would like to become a teacher for one of the Centerville Elementary Schools while incorporating her knowledge of music. Kendall has received the Trustees Merit Scholarship. Please help me congratulate this fine young lady. I have been with the Centerville Orchestra Program since the fourth grade with Mrs. Bernard. I moved to on to Tower Heights with Mrs. Landis and finally met Mr. Eink at the high school. The lesson I will take with me when I graduate from CHS is that it's important to have great teachers. More importantly, the qualities needed to be a great teacher. I am majoring in early childhood education and minoring in music. I have never met three teachers who are more committed and passionate. I hope that I've learned not only how to be a great musician, 
the qualities needed to be an excellent teacher. I will miss you all very much. Hello again. My name is Jason Heyman, and I am representing CHS Theater to introduce students who are continuing on in college theater arts programs. First, please join me in celebrating Quinn Bennett, who will major in acting at Ohio University. In the future, Quinn plans to continue acting and eventually transition to directing and film in addition to work on stage. Thank you, Quinn, for all of the leadership and creativity you've brought to our stage, as well as the mentorship and enthusiasm you've shared with younger students. Congratulations and break a leg at OU. The next theater honoree is Anthony Kaminal. Anthony has been involved in CHS theater since the very beginning of his freshman year, and I've been so fortunate to hear his ideas and see them in action, both on stage and at the director's table. Anthony will pursue a Bachelor of Fine Arts at Webster University Conservatory of Theater Arts with the goal of becoming a professional actor. Anthony has also received the Gorlock Gold Scholarship from Webster. Break a like, Anthony, and congratulations. Finally, CHS Theater honors Bryson Schultz who will study film and acting in college with the goal of becoming a successful performer, writer, and director. Bryson shared these words about his future plans. I wanna be one of the best in the industry and continue to push the boundaries of film, acting, and art, and have my name mean something to those within the world of creativity and the outcasts as someone positive and forward thinking. I'd like to share more of Bryson's words in his own voice next, and I think you'll see the kind of passion and dedication he gave to his work at CHS Theater. Congratulations, Bryson. Break a leg. Hi, my name is Bryson Schultz, and I was a part of the CHS Theater program. One of the biggest things that I took from Center of a High School is being able to step out of the common area that you are within. I've always been in the acting and theater program, but I've also always been into movies and film. So earlier this year, I was able to create a short film and had a lot of fun using new skills that I learned and applying it to that. Also collaborating with people who make music and learned how to make some songs and create a score for the movie. I've also been able to collaborate with some people who not only did acting but didn't have those kind of skills and wanted to learn how to do that through film and giving them the opportunity. One of the other things that I've also learned through the arts is being able to defy what people think of you. I've always been known as the funny goofy guy and through acting and theater I've been able to play a lot of dramatic darker roles that really show people different side of things that I can do. I've also had the experience of being able to not only within Centerville and Ohio, but to step out and meet people from other states that are also within the same field and love the art and craft and get to appreciate them and get that praise back and learn from each other. And I hope to continue to do that in the future with a successful career in film and acting and continue to defy the standard of art and bring out a new generation of creative things. Our first honoree from the Visual Arts Department is Kayla Fang. Kayla will be attending the Rhode Island School of Design in the fall, where she has received a RISD scholarship. Majoring in graphic design, she hopes to be a user, user experience designer in the future. It has been our pleasure to work with such a prolific artist who is always willing to take artistic risks. Here she is in a video talking about a lesson she has learned at CHS. Best of luck to you, Kayla. Congratulations. One lesson that I will take away from CHS is that failure is not the opposite of success. Rather, it's um, something that can really accelerate you forward on your journey um, because it's a very valuable learning opportunity. Our next honoree from the Visual Arts Department is Avery Hick. Avery will be attending the Savannah College of Art and Design in the fall. He has received an achievement scholarship as well as an academic scholarship. Avery will major in sequential art and hopes to be a graphic novelist or comic book artist in the future. Avery, it has been our pleasure working with such a multi-talented artist and I can't wait to see what your future holds. Here Avery is talking about what's best about the Centerville High School Arts Department. Best of luck, Avery. My favorite thing about CHS has been the diversity of the arts program. 
Throughout my four years, I've been in orchestra, jazz band, various studio art classes, and in the theater program, and I'm very grateful that I got to have these many experiences and opportunities, and for the various teachers and mentors that helped me along the way. Hello, my name is Lori Coles, and I'm the fashion design teacher here at Centerville High School. It is my pleasure to honor Haley Harrison, who will be attending Kent State University majoring in fashion design. Haley's future plan is to work for Christian Dior Designing Custom Couture. Here at Centerville High School, Haley has used her leadership skills to start and lead Fashion Club. Twice a month, she would plan creative activities for the club members to enjoy. I congratulate Haley and wish her success in all that she pursues. Hi, I'm Janet Valley. I teach visual art at CHS. It is my pleasure to introduce Brian Hoffman. Brian plans to attend Ringling College of Art and Design in the fall. His plan is to become a concept artist or a character designer for Walt Disney Animation Studios. Here's Brian with some bits of wisdom that he will take away with him from CHS. Congratulations, Brian. Hello, my name is Brian Hoffman and next year I will be attending Ringling College of Art and Design as an illustration major one thing that I learned from CHS is that within the art community, there are so many different types of artists who have a whole range of ideas and skills and abilities, and we're all trying to share those skills with the world. So the art community isn't a competition to see who can be the best of the best. We're all supportive of one another. And I think that that'll be really important for me in college because I just need to know that we all have different goals and we all have different styles and techniques that we like to use. Um, so it's not a race. It's We're all growing at our own pace and we can all help each other. It's not trying to fight one another. Hi, my name is Georgiana Wright and I'm one of the art and design teachers here at Centerville High School. Please join me in honoring Nicholas Larimer who will be attending the Columbus College of Art and Design in the fall majoring in graphic design. In the future, Nick is planning on finding his voice as an artist and designer by exploring as many avenues of art and design as possible, from glass blowing to photography. As a designer, he hopes to one day own and operate his own design firm. Nick has also received the Scioto Miles Scholarship. Next, Nick would like to share with you his favorite thing about CHS. Congratulations, Nick. So the lesson that I'm taking away from my time at CHS is the diversity at CHS. There are lots of different people from all sorts of walks of life, different backgrounds, and have different ways of viewing the world and thinking about things. And you know, you meet a lot of them. Um, and I think that's really important in life in general, but especially being a designer or an artist is you really have to you know, learn how to, um, you know, have relationships with people and have, meet people who are of different backgrounds, and I think that's really important, and I think that that is probably the most important lesson that anyone can learn, and I definitely learned it at CHS. Please join me in honoring Maya McManus, who will be attending the Columbus College of Art and Design in the fall majoring in animation. In the future, Maya wants to become a voice actor or animator. Congratulations, Maya, on all of your accomplishments. Hi there, my name is Jared Parker and I'm the digital design teacher at Kettering Fairmont High School. Um, it's my pleasure today to introduce you to Rory Johnson. Rory Johnson is a senior in our digital design class and uh, she is a wonderful student. She's uh, not only been in my class, but she's been pulling double duty as a student through CCP and St. Clair Community College. So she's kind of done both within the two years I've known her. Has just done a wonderful job, great looking portfolio this year. Um, and she'll be attending the University of BYU, Brigham Young University in the fall. And uh, she'll be taking on the, the major of animation. So a competitive uh, field, but uh, she'll do a wonderful job there at BYU. Without further ado, Rory Johnson.
Hi, I'm Tenille Redmond, director of the Centerville Dance Program and the Centerville Dance Company. Hi, I'm Erin Wheeler. I'm Centerville Dance Program's teaching assistant. The first student we're honoring today is Emma Graham. Emma is courageous, multi-talented, and creative, and I've had the pleasure of teaching her for 12 years in the dance program. It is her determination and dedication to everything she's pursued at CHS that I admire the most. Emma is a four-year Centerville Dance Program member, two years in Centerville Dance Company, and a member of the National Honor Society for Dance Arts. This spring, Emma received a $1,000 scholarship from the Showcase America Unlimited based on her academic achievement, artistic merit, and good sportsmanship. Emma plans to, to go into theater studies and special education at Kent State University. She plans to be either an on-stage performer or a special education teacher. Emma, we love your smile and we know your future is bright. Best of luck. Thanks. My favorite thing about Centerville High School was the given opportunity to be yourself no matter what you're a part of. Whether you join sports, clubs, or performing arts, you'll meet new friends, teachers, and mentors who want to help you have fun and be successful in all that you accomplish. The last dancer we'd like to honor today is Katie Wilson. Tenacious, honest, and an emotionally captivating performer describes four-year Centerville Dance Program member Katie Wilson. Three of her four years at Centerville High School, Katie was a member of the Centerville Dance Company and a member of the National Honor Society for Dance Arts. This past spring, Katie received a $1,000 scholarship from Showcase America Unlimited based on her academic achievement, artistic merit, and good sportsmanship. Katie plans to major in psychology and a minor in dance from Ohio University. Upon graduation, she would like to earn her doctorate and become a forensic psychologist. Katie would also like to continue to teach dance. We have enjoyed watching Katie grace the stage with her poise and heart. We know you will continue to lead with integrity and grace, and we wish you the best in all you pursue. Thank you for joining us for this celebration of these special arts students from Centerville High School. Students, your names will be displayed on a banner in the Performing Arts Center lobby, and we hope you have a chance to see it there soon. Congratulations to the class of 2020 from all of us here in the arts programs at Centerville High School.